I'm going to be showing you three easy affordable DIY Halloween decorations and starting off with this balloon spider web you'll need some white wool, some balloons, glue and some creepy crawly fake spiders. So I'm going to begin by blowing up the balloon and I'm also going to attach a piece of string so I can hang it up later to dry. I'm then going to take a length of wool and place the wool into a bowl. And then going to add some glue and water to make a paste and then I'm just going to use my fingers to mix it all together and make sure all the wool is coated. And then going to take the wool and begin wrapping it around the balloon. I just continued wrapping multiple lengths of wool covered in the paste around the balloon to make it look like a spider web and then I hung it outside to dry. Once it's dry, I popped the balloon and moved the balloon from inside the spider web and then I took these creepy looking spiders and a hot glue gun and just glued the spiders all over the web. I think these balloon spider webs would be perfect for Halloween and the cool thing is, is you can make different size ones and then hang them all together and they look really creepy. Moving on to these sparkly tea light spiders, which I think are really, really cute. You're going to need some spray paint, some tea light holders, wire, wire cutters, glitter, and googly eyes. So I'm gonna begin by cutting eight 14 centimeter lengths of wire. I'm then gonna bend the end of the wire at a 90 degree angle. Then I'm going to bend the wire back on itself and you can see what I'm doing so that'll better explain it. And then I'm going to put a bit of a bend in the wire to make it look like a spider leg. So once you have eight legs you want to begin gluing the legs onto the tea light holder. Now make sure you don't glue them on upside down. Even after showing you this I then proceeded to glue a leg on upside down but I edited that part out. <laughs> So just make sure that you glue the legs on the right way up. And also don't forget to leave room for his two eyes. Then once the legs are dry, you're just gonna wanna take him outside and spray paint him whatever color you want, but I went for orange. And then while the paint is wet, you're gonna wanna sprinkle some glitter on top. And then leave him outside to dry, and then once he's dry, you can glue on his googly eyes. So to do that, I just used hot glue again, and please be careful, do not burn yourself. It's so easy to burn yourself with hot glue and it hurts. So then once you finish, just place some tea lights inside your spider tea light holders. And yeah, I think these look really cute and I kind of want to make 10 more in all different colors. I don't know, I just, I love how they turned out. Moving on to this really creepy handless glove and this freaked me out a little bit. You're going to need a vase, some gloves, cotton wool balls, pipe cleaners and wire cutters. So you're going to want to take two pipe cleaners and begin twisting them around each other and this will be used for one finger so you want to make five of these for all five fingers. Once you have five, you're going to want to place the pipe cleaner up inside the glove and into the finger. Then taking a cotton wool ball, I just like to pull it apart a bit so it wasn't so lumpy and bumpy inside the finger. And then you're just going to want to stuff the finger full of cotton wool. So you're just going to want to repeat this for each finger, placing a pipe cleaner inside and then stuffing it with cotton wool. Then taking the wire cutters, I just cut the pipe cleaners so they were hidden inside the glove. I'm then going to take more cotton wool and begin stuffing the actual hand part of the glove. And you just want to move the cotton wool balls around so it looks more like a real hand. <laughs> Thumbs up. I then made a stand for my glove, which was super easy. I just used the lid of a box and a pencil and spray painted it black. I then place the glove inside a vase, but you can just leave it outside the vase. I think it looks good either way. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to thumbs it up if you did and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching and I'll speak to you guys later. Bye!